Trout time again. Vanessa's <laughs> making a whole big crock full of sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. Look at this wonderful cabbage. It's amazing. That's your favorite time of year, isn't it? Yeah. And here, time. see, we have a few um, horseradish. Horseradish here again. Yeah, it's for yeah. mold. Yeah. Uh, also gives flavor. Um, flavor yeah. And what's that, dill? Well, this is the little dill leftovers from the dill that I used in the summer, you know, yeah. the fine. And I just put them away, so I keep them for this. Mm -hmm. But that's just how it is, you know, it doesn't look... Yeah. See? Yeah. Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Because they're very fine dills, these ones. Yeah. Very fine dill reed. It's not the mature, you know, grown out yeah. dill reed. And here... Does all sauerkraut have dill in it? Not really. No, eh? some people do different, you know. Some yeah. people even make it with cumin and, and turmeric yeah. and, and uh, caraway seeds. You know, it's all kinds of different ways. Yeah. But that's how I like it. Dill and horseradish. Yeah. So, see? Okay. Mm, very good. Yeah. And you have to squish that down so the yeah, juices come Yeah, I step in out. it. I have, I have my plastic things oh, yeah. on here oh, and I step yeah. in it and I have a towel here. Yeah. Right, so I go. Uh oh, I like this part. <laughs> yeah. What does that do? Squeeze it out? Yeah. It gets mm -hmm. the water and everything, you know? Yeah. So now very carefully I come out. So you don't have to add any water to that. Well, we'll see that at the end. Mm -hmm. You know, but this year definitely gets it a good start. Okay. Nice. Nice. I'll get you another bowl. Yeah. So the horseradish is for the sauerkraut. Yeah. It's I cut it in half here. It's better to cut when you have it flat. Yeah. Easier to cut. Yeah, easier. And it adds wonderful flavor. Yeah. But also prevents it from molding. Mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah. is, that's a lot of water. That squeezes yeah. right out of the yeah. cabbage. There's yeah, there's nothing added. It's yeah. just from this cabbage. Yeah. Wonderful cabbage. So you've salted that cabbage, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's, and that I brings, salted a that little more. Juice out, yeah. Right? But I salt it a little more generous than people do. I put yeah. a little more salt in because, see, I use the best salt, Himalaya sea salt or right. molten salt. Yeah. And so when you drink the juice or when you eat it, yeah. you get the minerals from the salt, which are wonderful and healthy yeah. you know, because the salt is full with minerals, right? So here, let's the just put them all radish. on here. Yeah. That's a little generous here with the horseradish, but hey, what yeah. the heck, right? Let's put it in. We have Yolo. it. We have it. We may as well flaunt it. You know what yellow means? No. You only live once. Yeah. May as well. <laughs> so here, these may as well are frozen. do a lot of horseradish. These here are frozen, but that's okay. I'll just yeah. kind of, you know, bang them around a bit. Mm -hmm. Put them in. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. And I keep these from the little dill, from the baby dill yeah. that I use in the summer for my salmon omelets. Yeah. I just put it in the freezer. For save the, the stalks. Yeah. Yeah. So the now this here just is going to have a wet cloth, like a damp cloth on top, so yeah. nothing gets in. Yeah. And a big plate on top or a lid. You squeeze that down Yeah, I squeeze more, right? it down once yeah. more. And yeah. then we'll watch it every day. Okay. Every day. It should be done in 12 days. Okay. Okay. Best. So all, all of that water. Look at in this there water here. It's all you squeezed see? out of the cabbage. That yeah. comes only out of the cabbage. Fantastic cabbage. Yeah. Really fantastic cabbage yeah. from a local farm, from yeah. Mitchell Green. Farm yeah. on Sandwich. Yeah. Amazing super. cabbage. So yeah. we're gonna have a very good sauerkraut yeah. in, a, yeah. in about two weeks. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So you've got a plate in there. Yep. Yeah. And a weight. There is a plate, and this is my big mortar. Yeah. Big concrete or granite mortar. Yeah. So I use that as a weight. Yeah. And I put it in a little plastic bag, 
on so the really bottom. all that water came out of that yeah, cabbage. Yeah, came you out didn't of add the any water Nothing, nothing. We didn't have to add any. Does the salt bring the water up or yeah, something? Yeah, the salt yeah. draws it out. Yeah, that's right? very nice. And that, that um, what do you call that? Uh, the mortar? The mortar? That's yeah. That's acts as a weight, yeah. right? Yeah, that's my weight. Very you nice. can use large stones or yeah. whatever, right? Yeah. Okay. So you want to keep that mm -hmm. underwater so it all the time underwater so it doesn't oxidize. Right. As soon as it oxidizes, it starts to go moldy and mushy. Yeah. So you don't want any oxidization. What do you have in this one? Here, no. I have actually. Here I have the whole, whole cabbage heads. heads. Cabbage rolls. This is just two, and they have the same uh, flavoring. Can you lift it up here? Yeah, they have the same flavoring, and what you do is you hollow them out, you can use a drill yeah. to drill them out, fill it with salt, and then I also have salt water in here, yeah. purified water of course, yeah. with sea salt, cooked up, cooled down, yeah. and then put in here. Yeah. And here we have another one, if you like to come over here, the mother of about all four form here yeah. and this one needs more water the water has to come up to here yeah. and this one as you can see has pieces of red cabbage that mm -hmm. will give you a pink sauerkraut juice because yeah. what I make this for the sauerkraut juice for lactic acid for drinking it for digestion right. and also for of course cabbage rolls yeah. sour, sour cabbage, cabbage sour for cabbage, cabbage rolls yeah. very nice okay